Hi, my name is Anup Shivadas and I am a Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I'll talk about how to configure and leverage Amazon RDS Performance Insights with Amazon RDS for Microsoft SQL Server. So, what is Performance Insights? Let's take a close look at it. With RDS SQL Server, we have got a lot of great feedback from our customers. They love the automated patching, automated backups, multi-AZ deployments for high availability, etc. One thing they have been asking for is visibility into the performance of their database workloads. And our goal was to provide them with a simple tool. We also have a large customer base, which includes very large enterprise customers to small startups. Especially the smaller customers don't have a DBA or they might have a part-time DBA. So the tool has to be easy that anybody can use. The customers also want, uh, wanted a single location to go and see what is happening for their databases at a given point of time. Our first step towards this was a couple of years ago in 2016, where we launched Enhanced Monitoring. The focus with Enhanced Monitoring was more on OS-centric counters than database-centric counters. One of the major advantages with Enhanced Monitoring was we did one second granularity with this. One of the key challenges with enhanced monitoring is that even though you get OS related counters, you cannot correlate that with what's happening with the database. For example, the CPU might be 100% for a couple of minutes, but it's tough to understand what SQL query is causing that spike. With Performance Insights, we are exposing database level metrics to and an easy way to identify what factor is causing the bottleneck. RDS Performance Insights monitors your RDS database instance load so that you can analyze and troubleshoot your database performance. Introducing Performance Insights. This is database centric. It's a dashboard and the main thing we show is database load. We will talk more about database load in a short minute. With the dashboard, you can adjust the time frame. The default time frame is one hour, but you can zoom down into per second sample as we collect data per second for you. You can zoom out to multiple months or years if you have that much data. You can filter by attributes like which SQL is putting load on the database, which user is, which host is, and where am I spending time on my database, etc. One of the core tenants or goals for us was the interface to provide a guided experience to the users. The interface is for both beginners and experts. For a beginner, the interface is easy at it and it encourages exploration. And for an expert, you got all the counters you care about when troubleshooting a performance problem or an issue. So the big question, what is a database node? All the database engines have a structure which tell us who is connected to the database and what are the connections to the database. And for each of those connections, it will tell us which one is active and which one is idle. What we do in Performance Insight is we look at that structure once a second and we are just reading from the memory, which makes this very efficient and lightweight. Some of our test shows that the impact of turning on Performance Insights is 1% of 1 vCPU. And this is absolutely lightweight and scalable. We look at the structure and ignore the idle connection and collect the data from the active connection. So if the connection is active, we will get info like 
what SQL is running, who is the user, what state are they in, whether they are in waiting state or they are in running state, what host the SQL is being sent from, etc. We expose this as a metric called average active sessions or AAS, which is really a measurement of concurrency of the load on the database or how many users are currently active in the database. If you would like to learn more about Performance Insights, then please refer to this link, which is referenced in this slide deck. We have good amount of documentation, which is available for you to get started quickly. Now, let's see a demo to see Performance Insights in action. When you create an RDS SQL Server instance, Performance Insights is enabled by default. Let's take a quick look at it. Open AWS console and access RDS. Click on the Create Database option. Choose Microsoft SQL Server. Select Standard Edition for this demo. The version can be the latest one, SQL 2017. Choose Dev and Test. For the DB instance identifier, we'll give a meaningful name. SQL Test, for example. For the master username, we'll use the same username, which is admin. We'll create a master password. A strong password. Rest of the settings can be the same one as you see here. And if you scroll further down, under the additional configuration section, if you scroll further down, you can see Performance Insights. As I mentioned earlier, it is enabled by default. The other option which you have here is the retention period. By default, it is seven days. And for long-term retention, you have an option for two years. Seven days means we retain the performance data for you for seven days. And once you click on create database, the database will be created and it will be coming with performance insights enabled. If you have an existing database and you need to enable performance insights, if it was disabled for any specific reason, then you can select the instance and then choose the modify option here. And once you modify the instance, you can enable performance insights and choose the right retention period as needed. Currently, I have a running RDS SQL Server instance with some load on it. If performance insights is already enabled for that instance, then you can see the current activity option. If I select the instance and scroll to the left, I can see the current activity tab and there are some sessions which you can see already which is up and running. If you click on that sessions, it will launch Performance Insights dashboard. As stated earlier, the da dashboard is divided into two parts. The top part shows the database load and the bottom part shows the SQL which is running which you can correlate with the load. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you can zoom down or you can zoom out as needed. For the demo, I'll be selecting the five minute window option. 
below you have an option to see the SQL, the hosts and the users. If you observe the database load section, you can see that there is some load on the database and you can see it live as time progresses. The black dotted line shows the max number of CPUs the instance got. In this case, the RDS instance got four vCPUs. Let's simulate a locking situation in the database and see if Performance Insights capture that information. We will switch to another window where I have SSMS already open and we'll run a couple of commands to simulate a lock. We will now switch back to the Performance Insight dashboard and see what is being captured now. As you can see, the log stats have gone up. So as soon as I ran the command, the log stats has been captured by Performance Insights. If you look at the blue color, it represents the lock stats. If you examine the query, you can see the statement which was involved during the lock. So the insert statement was actually involved when there was a lock situation in the database. Hope this brief demo explains how performance insights can be leveraged to troubleshoot the performance issues within your RDS SQL Server instance. Thanks for watching and enjoy performance tuning.